So in 2013, the New England Journal of Medicine published a rigorous randomized controlled trial looking at the effect of family presence during cardiopulmonary resuscitation um, on, on the psychiatric outcomes of family members of cardiac arrest patients. Um, this was a study from a French EMS system. Um, 15 different EMS units randomized 570 relatives of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest patients. Now, these were first-degree relatives, primarily parents and children of the cardiac arrest patients, to either receive a routine invitation to be present during resuscitation or no routine invitation. They found that when this invitation was extended, uh, family members chose to be present about 80% of the time versus about 40% of the time when an invitation was not ex uh, extended. They found that, that family member presence did not impact resuscitation characteristics or patient survival. And when they, they did follow-up interviews with family members, they did a number of, of kind of psychiatric screening tests to look for the prevalence of PTSD, clinical anxiety, clinical depression. And they found that the, the effect of extending a routine invitation to be present during resuscitation decreased the prevalence of PTSD-related symptoms by about 10 absolute percentage points, and also, also decreased symptoms of anxiety in the family members of cardiac arrest patients. Right? This, is, this is really important. There are plenty of cardiac arrests that we go to where our, the clinical interventions we provide have no impact on the patient's outcome. Right? The, Unwitnessed asystole with a long downtime, no matter what we do, we can't save those people. But for every cardiac arrest that we go to, the, the simple, uh, you know, extending an invitation to be present, a, a cheap, low-risk intervention, has significant potential to improve the psychiatric outcomes of all the family members present.